Hello guys, what's up here? Echo Spirits here. Welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to download and install the um, Cheap Breaker mod pack, which includes Toggle Sprint, as you see in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, and which also includes Toggle Sneak, um, uh, and then the Keystrokes mod in the top left-hand corner, along with CPS and the FPS counter. Um, so. Yeah, I'll be showing you guys how to download that and show you guys how to use that. So let's get right into how to install this. So one sec, let me change this. Okay, so now what you want to do first is you want to go to your Minecraft folder. Um, so if you don't know how to do that, you go to PC, uh, your C drive, users, whatever your computer is called, uh, app data, roaming, and you'll need to turn on hidden items to be able to see your uh, app data folder roaming.minecraft and then um, you'll need to download the forge installer I'll have that in, uh, linked in the description below and um, so you want to install that and then run that once uh, you have to use the 1.8.9 version for this uh, version of um, cheap breaker then you once you run, run that once you should have a mods folder now if you go into your mods folder it should be empty when you just get it uh, but these are the mods that you'll need for the cheap breaker, which includes everything that you saw. Uh, and I just added Optifine, which is completely optional, but it's uh, as you might know already, it helps you with your processing. But everything else, especially Lunatrius Core, Player API, um, is and in-game inf. No, that that I think is optional, but Player API and Lunatrius Core is needed for the um, actual cheap breaker mod pack to run and you can see I also have the toggle sneak here and then the sidebar and the cheap breaker these include the toggle the um, not toggle sneak the uh, keystrokes and the CPS and FPS counter you can also add uh, like an army uh, armor GUI or a potions GUI but I won't be going through that um, you could probably find that if you look it up online so I'll be attaching these in the uh, with a download link in the description. All you have to do is download the folder. I'll give you guys the folder download link. And then what you guys will need to do is take it out of the folder and paste it in your mods folder directly for it to work. And then going back to the Minecraft, uh, one sec. I'll show you guys how to actually use the um, mod itself. So to change its settings, you have uh, these different commands. So FPS mod, you have to do slash FPS mod, and it displays it right here. You can move it, you can click it and move it around to wherever you want it. Move it back to where it was. Reset position. Um, you can disable it, so then now it's gone. Um, or you can turn it back on, and you can change the color here. I have it set on gold. You just keep clicking, it. and there's also a rainbow mode. Uh, there's a lot of different colors. Rainbow mode, which if you look at it, just shifts its color by itself, which is actually pretty cool. Another special feature of this mod. Um, but it's a little distracting for me, so I like to keep it on gold. Uh, so for CPS mod, uh, CPS mod, pretty much the same thing. Um, but after you, let's do the keystrokes first. Um, after you do the keystrokes, you can align it under the keystrokes. Uh, display so that way it's directly under it and again you can change your color to rainbow whatever and you can turn it off if you don't want that keystrokes uh, same thing you can also for this one though you can uh, turn it off so right now you can see you have the space bar in there you can turn that off so all you have is this without without the um, space bar there or you click it uh, or you do that and now you have the mouse and no space bar then if you click it again, you get the jump and the mouse, which is what I have currently enabled right now. So, uh, and then for toggle sprint, this one there's not a physical slash command. You have to do uh, options. You could do and then toggle sneak op options here, and then you can change your settings here. Toggle sneak. I have it on false right now. Just so you know, uh, some servers do not allow toggle sneak. So if you do get banned. Don't blame me. Um, so I would suggest keeping toggle sneak off. And then toggle sprint on most servers, it should be allowed. So uh, you can probably keep that true. And then uh, chroma text is, I believe, the rainbow text. Um, 
you can actually edit the text to say what it, uh, what it displays there but I mean you can keep it as default if you want or you can change it um, you change the positions where you want it on your screen it kind of sucks you can't really drag around in this version but um, yeah chroma speed is the speed at which it changes the uh, colors uh, double tapping is where you can sprint by hitting the W key twice which is what um, goes on in your vanilla minecraft and I have that disabled because I don't really like that and then fly boostings when you uh, fly around normally in like say creative mode or whatever if you hold down your sprint key you could actually boost that and make it go faster some servers uh, do not have this um, enabled so it doesn't work on some servers but for your own like creative mode uh, world or whatever you can have this enabled and it can help you travel around a lot faster so again how to get to that you can go to options toggle sneak or you can go uh, mod options and then on the left side you should see uh, where is it uh, toggle sneak configuration it's the same menu um, you can change things around and also for the fly boost you can uh, change the speed of it if you want to just be sure when you do change settings on here you don't just press escape make sure you press save settings and then done and then it'll save so uh, yeah and then also in the mod pack you also have the I believe where is it in-game info XML so you can configure this also so what this is is if you press F3 it takes up the place of what your original F3 menu is and it shows you this so um, you can see it shows you the biome the day uh, FPS and the entities that are around you um, and the light level for whatever reason if you want that and the FPS counter so I mean it's kind of helpful but the only thing that's bad about it is you don't have coordinates in there I'm pretty sure there's a way you can program that into the thing I, I just don't really know how to um, but yeah if you guys uh, just click F3 again it goes back and to configure it and to uh, configure that go to mod options in game info XML uh, then you go alignment which is like where it's displayed uh, general and then just some basic um, uh, sorry, basic things that you can change uh, your scale. You can show uh, what this means. Show in chat is if you're um, typing whether or not show and uh, debug. I'll show you guys what that looks like. It just goes over everything else. So if you press F3, it goes to your normal Minecraft thing. Which I don't really like because it's overlapping, but I mean, you could move it and uh, give it a different location if you wanted to. Um, I usually don't like it so I usually turn the debug thing off so that way it doesn't overlap true and make sure again for this you have to click done uh, all the way through until hit this menu and then you can just press escape and then it saves if you don't press done it doesn't save so uh, yeah uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, minecraft tutorial video on cheat breaker if you guys enjoyed or found this video uh, helpful for you be sure to uh, leave a like down below and subscribe so yeah, uh, if there's anything else you guys want me to do a tutorial video on, just uh, leave a comment down below or uh, tweet me on my Twitter. So yeah, thank you all for watching. See you guys next time.